kwa majina naitwa Tore John Karan Executive Director Sheria na Haki Human Rights Institute Siku ya leo tumeweza kufika huku Voi kwa sababu tumekuja kuserve kutoda hiyo kampuni ambayo inaitwa Voi Point Kusema ukweli hiyo kampuni tumepata malalamishi nyingi kutoka kwa wananchi na wakazi haswa wa huku Voi kwamba amekuwa kiwanyanyasa kwa muda mrefu na kwamba pia stakabadhi ambayo amekuwa kitumia ile lease na title zote hazikuwa hakuweza kupata kwa njia ambayo ilikuwa sawa na ikaweza kutulazimu sisi kwenda kutini kuweza kufile kesi kuweza kufile kesi ili aje kutini yeye mwenyewe huyo director wa Voipoint kuja kuelezea vile aliweza kupata hiyo stakabadhi ambaye amekuwa anasumbua naye wananchi na wakazi ambao wakaji ambao wako voi. Kusema kweli nikiongea na nikielezea kwa kina Gaubwaga. Huko nchini Kenya tumekuwa tunaambiwa mara nyingi tuweze ku respect investors. Kweli investors tumekuwa tunaweza kuheshimu but ukiangalia investors wengi wajakuja kwa mikono mizuri wamekuwa wanakuja wanakaa kidogo wanakwaya sehemu tu ndogo mwisho wanapanua panua baadaye wanaenda milango ya nyuma wanaweza kutengenezea ma title ambazo ni fake wanatengenezea title ambazo wanakuja kusumbua nayo wananchi na hizo title wakiweza kutengenezea title hizo wanaenda nazo pia bank kwenda wanapo pesa nyingi nyingi huko ambapo wewe kwa mkenya hata ukiwa na title ya 5 acres uwezi patiwa hata laki au milioni moja ama hata milioni mbili unazungushwa but investor anakuja anapatiwa billions of money kwa sababu kiangalia huyu ambaye ni voi point amechukua mabilioni na mabilion ya pesa na hiyo title ameenda aka charge bank diamond trust bank akashikana na cartels mpaka wakaweza kupitisha lease ambaye ni legal Liz mwisho kabisa Liz 1993 hakuna Liz ilikuwa zinatoka 1993 na kuendelea miaka hizo zingine mpaka kama 2002 ndio Liz zilianza kutoka sasa kwa saa hii sisi tumempeleka mahakamani ili aweze kueleza 1993 na wale makatels wenzake ambao waliungana na yeye na Diamond Trust Bank wote waje waeleze mahakama hiyo Liz ya 1993 ilisainiwa na nani ilitoka wapi alipata kwa njia gani na kwa nini bank hawezi pia kukaa chini na kuweza kuchunguza wanampa tu mapesa nyingi nyingi kuchaji hiyo kuchaji hiyo title ili pia azidi kusumbua wananchi na wakaaji ambao ambao ni wenyeji wa voi kwa hivyo siku ya leo tumeweza kuwa safe hiyo kutuoda wameza kuturisivia tumesavu mpaka Nairobi tumemsavu mpaka huyo Mohamed mwenyewe ambaye ndio director wa Voi Point tumesavu na idara tofauti tofauti na kitambo kitambo nije nimalizie vile ninavyoongea kwa saa hizi niko na statement ambaye nataka kusoma kwa saa hii niko na statement ambaye nataka kusoma ambaye ni statement by sheria na haki Human Rights Institute kuhusiana na hiyo shamba uh, land injustice continue continues to be a thorn in the flesh of many coastal region citizens historically land adjudication remains an emotive took of marginalization of our people 60 years since independence our region still has multitudes of squatters and the class system of land ownership the rich and more as the poor squatter on small chunks bearing graves of their forefathers ladies and gentlemen voice i soul aka voice point has been subject of wide public debate and uproar for quite some time however one entity acquired such large tracts of land 
has been the, base, base, the basis of close to two years inquiry leading to the court process. For starters, the original lease was issued in 1920 and due for expiry in 2019, upon which the lease was due to revert back to the government. That void point held a lease that commenced in 1993, raised Icebro, and our team started to dig up information as to the process followed. The initial grant to Voy Sisol Estate Limited has some special conditions. Special condition one, provided that the land shall only be used for agricultural purpose and, and residence for the grantee. Special condition two, provide that the land shall be used and managed in good husbandry manner and maintenance of the, so of the soil to the satisfaction of the Commission of Lands and the End Control Board. While Special Condition 7 provides that if the land or any part therefore should cease to be, to be used for agricultural purpose, the land or part therefore shall be deemed to have automatically reverted to the government of Kenya without the necessity of any formal surrender thereof and the term created shall be de facto determined in respect of the land or the part as the case may be. It is based on the foregoing historical finding that it became apparent that there must have been some omissions and or commissions therein which we highlight as here under. A small advert appeared on the Daily Nation on a Friday, January 25, 2019, discussed as an invite to the, to the public to give comments on a change of user over LR number 28683, the genesis of a fraudulent process founded on corruption and in, dis in, in, and in disgrace disgrace of the land as there was no official gazettement nor publishing of the same in two dailies, Kiswahili and English, required under the law, that the provision of the new re repealed Fiscal Planning Act 1996, which was the law in force, was not adhered to. The act did, did provide that for any application that did not conform to the condition registered against the title had to be served on every occupier adjacent to the parcel of land and other, person, other persons as the local authority would deem fit. In addition, every notice was to be published in the Gazette, two local dailies, one in English, and the other in Kiswahili, and should have also been displayed at the office of the chief, that the authenticity of the same is in doubt. As the other is the voice of county, whose address is, one, is 1066, Undanyi, an, a, a non-existent entity in matters land adjudication. A, bl a blatant attempt to, to sanctify a rogue process. That as a, as a result, and in a flagrant breach and disgrace of the above special condition and provision of the law, Void Point Limited, in collision with officials from the Lands Department, the Lands Board, and procedurally affected all illegal change of user, whereby the lands use was converted to mixed use. Moreover, there was no public participation at all and the local communities that relies on the parcel of land for grazing and farming activities would not involve in the entire process of effecting the change of user or subdivision contrary to the constitution and in a flag, flag, flagrant attempt to weak 
dissenting members of the public, particularly, fr particularly from the large Mkamenyi area, hived of that five acres as compensation. Why compensate people who have anc ancestral roots to the said land? That the said parcel of land has been several charged to Diamond Trust Bank for huge sums of, for example, on the 16th of February 2012, <coughs> sorry, on the 16th of February 2012, it was charged for a total sum of 300 million shillings and 5 million US dollars. What caught our eye was that on, on the 27th December 2017, it was charged for a total sum of 6 billion, 638 million, 123 million, 500 shillings, broken down as further charges of 150 million, second further charge of 1 billion, seven, seven, 79 million, 737,000 shillings only. That further charge of 1 billion, 189 million, 511,500 shillings. And fourth further charge of 4 billion, 208 million, 875,000 shillings only. And on the 31st January 2019, it was charged again for a total of 4 billion, 800 million shillings. Hence, the question, how much is this land valued? At, and what valuation document or consideration were used by the management or board of Diamond Trust Bank to offer such huge Colossal sums, and interestingly, the same of these charges were executed on the same day. That all approval documents submitted to the county government upon further inquiry elicited massive gaps that on the 31st of May 2021, via the letter reference number GOV stroke TT stroke LND stroke stroke LND8, stroke NR, stroke volume 2, stroke 47. The county government advised the cabinet secretary in charge of land matters to place a caveat over the said parcel of land. However, the said caveat was not placed as, as can be evidenced by transaction over the said piece of land, such as January of 20, July of 2022, whereby the Land Control Board gave consent for a change of user and the sub subsequent subdivision and transfers. Having gathered sufficient evidence, we moved to court on that 1st of May 2023, and 5th July the court granted us interim orders. We will share the orders of key public concern is that the court ordered that conservatory orders do issue restraining the first respondent, their servants, agent, representative, and or stroke any other person whoever, whosoever, or anyone acting under their authority, however, from further selling, dispos disposing, leasing, or interfering with the land in void area. Void division within Taita Taveta County, known as LR number 28683. First registered as grant number CR 51725, measuring approximately 4,825 acres. That pending the interparty hearing, that is order number two, that pending interparty hearing and determination of this application or until further orders, this Honorable Court be pleased to issue a temporary injunction restraining the first respondent either by, their, by, 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 their, by themselves, 
legal rep representatives, legal counsels, their servants, agents, or anyone acting under the authority from evicting community communities living and occupying land form, formerly known as LR number 28683. That the person residing on the said parcel of land do live peaceful until otherwise directed by the court. That is Ioni uh, your statement here too. Uh, in our statement that the person residing on the side parcel of land do live peaceful until otherwise directed by court and that voice sisal and or void point desist from further tempering with the land LR number 28683 first registered as grant number CR 51725 measuring approximately 4,000 825 acres. We at Sharia Nahak Institute commit to pursue this matter to the end until all, pro all processes are audited and the truth prevail that the land reverts back to the government and for the benefit of the rightful citizen. Thank you and that is, is my statement. Kwamajina uh, Mimi naitwa Rogers Brasio ni secretary Sheria na Haki Human Rights na pia mimi ndio office administrator ndani ya Sheria na Haki tumejaribu kupata malalamishi kupitia kwa ofisi yetu na wakaaji wataita taveta voi malalamishi akija shamba lao lilifanywa kupokonywa na stakabadhi ambayo wamejaribu kuzitisha kutaka kujua hizi stakabadhi zilikuwa ni za ukweli ama si za ukweli lakini hawajapata haki yao wamejaribu kupitia kwa ofisi nyingi za mawakili wakijaribu kufaili makesi hawaambiwi nini ambayo kinaendelea tumejaribu paka kutembea paka kwa familia nyingine inaitwa mkamenyi upande wa uko voi Tumefika paka wakiona mtu mgeni wanakimbia kwa sababu gani? Voi point wanatumia maskari kila ina waki, wakiingia tu hivi watu wanapigwa. Wamelamika wanapigwa usiku. Na wa, wa, wanaishi kwa milima. Sasa watu wengine wameamia ndani ya milima na shamba lao liko hapa. Watu shamba lenyewe ukiuliza mtu mnaishi vipi? Wanasema hata mifugo zetu zilikuwa hapa zilikuwa zinajua zinachukuliwa mchana hivi tukiwa tunaona. Shamba limewekwa ukuta watu wanahangaikia huko ndani watu wengine. Mtu haezi enda dukani ukiwa na mtu unataka kwenda kuona mtu wako wamekuwekea security wanakwambia kamera ziko hapa. Tumejaribu kama sisi wenyewe wana sheria na haki. Tumeandika barua kwa ofisi zote za serikali. Taita Taveta County. Tumeandika paka kwa government offices Nairobi. Barua tangu tuandike tare 24 mwezi wa, wa ine, mwaka, mwaka huu 2023 hatujapata jiblo lote tumeweza tu kupata wengine wanatuchatisha kwa masimu wanasema bado tunawapatia zile majibu hatujapata majibu ndio ili tukaamua tare 29 mwezi wa 5 wacha tuende mahakamani tuweze kupata oda ambayo koti yenyewe angalie sisi ndio macho ya koti Sisi ndio tunapeleka evidence yetu kotini na tukienda kotini lazima tumesibitia tuko na stakabadhi za kutetea wananchi. Mahakama imetupatia oda imeambia wananchi wakae kwa amani. Paka wakati kesi itasikizwa iishe na uamuzi wengine utoke. Tumeshiki tume, tumeshikana na wanini na wakaaji tunawaambia muongee wanaogopa paka kupatikana kwa media wanasema tukionekana tu hivi tunaenda kufuatwa usiku. Wa imebidi sasa wanafuatwa nje wengine waishi hapo lakini sasa ni vile ni mkaaji wa huko anajulikana na serikali yote inamjua wanamfuata paka nyumbani kwake wanamuuliza wewe nani alikwambia enda leo mnaweza kuzuri wewe yes hebu tueleze what happened kitu ya kwanza kusavu ode yenyewe tumezuria kwa gate ikabidi tumetoa ID zetu zote wakatuambia hamwezi ingia wakatuwekea security Ikabidi tukachukua simu zetu tukawaambia kama we ni security hutaki tuingie na tuko na document ya mahakama itabidi tukuachie wewe 
Soja utabaki na hii karatasi na wendi utajibu haya majibu yote. Tuliwekwa kwa geti zaidi ya dakika salasini. Tutukarusiwa, tukaingia ndani, tukawasavu na hile koti oda, ambao tukonayo mkononi na tukotayari kupigana nao, hii vita paka wanavoi wapate haki yao. Ambao kesi inasikizwa tarekume mwezi wa saba. The court, court order inaeleza kwamba kazo zote ambao zinafanyika hapo ndani za kufukuza watu, za kuuza hiyo shamba, nini ya kitu zote, zisimame. Kama ni, kama ni kukopa loni, kama ni kufanya nini, ku, ku, kufurusha mtu yote ambaye anaishi kwa hiyo shamba, isimame. Paka wakati court itasikiza hii kesi na tukotari kama sisi wanasheria, Tunaomba jaji mwenye anasikiza hii kesi tunataka ye mwenyewe pia akuje ashudie hili shamba la voi aone vile watu wanateseka vile sisi tumeshuhudia sisi wenyewe wana sheria na haki sasa mahakama peke yake ndio macho ya wanyonge tunataka mahakama mtu akikata kuna sheria inakubaliwa yule mtu inafaa ashikwe achukuliwe hatua ile inaitwa contempt of court order Yes, ukisavyo ukisavyo na court order. Kuna una, kuna yule wa kukeuka ile sheria ya court order. Ndio baadaye kuna ile kiti inaitwa contempt of court order. Serikali yenyewe iko na iko na maskari wao wakuja kushika yule mtu. Si lazima atiwe ni polisi wala na, wa, mtu kutoka police station. Kuna wale watu wanaitwa court bailiff. Ako na right ya kukuja kushika director ama nani ampeleke hapo ndani ya mahakama na mahakama yenyewe ina, in, inatoa amri yake huyu mtu ashikwe awekwe ndani. voi kumekuwa na vita kwa muda mrefu ambapo hiyo vita ilianza kitambo sana ikuanza leo na voi point ambapo voi point alikuwa ameomba liz kwamba anataka kufanya maendeleo ya kupanda makonge kwa hiyo shamba na liz unajua wao inaenda ikifika mahali ina inaisha sasa imefika mahali badili ya kufanya ile liz ile liz imeisha yeye anaenda tena na ana renew lease na mlango wa nyuma. Anakuja wananchi wako pale ambao wameishi kwa miaka nyingi. Anawavunjia manyumba zao. Anawapiga. Hata ukiingia kule saa hii, kuna kaburi ingine hata ni ya 18 sijui 19 ngapi huko iko pale ndani. Hiyo kaburi pia wame yani huyo mtu anaitwa Void Point. Ana imani na ana hata um, yani ana hata ile ana hata ile ubinadamu unaenda unachimbua mpaka kaburi ya 18 ya mababu ambapo hiyo inakuwa yani amekosa amekosa discipline amekuwa yani ni mtu mnyama aswa kuvunjia hao wananchi wamekaa huku kwao miaka nyingi sana that is why sisi kama sheria na haki human rights institute tumeamua kuingilia ili jambo katikati tulisukume guu kwa guu kichwa kwa kichwa mpaka tuhakikishe kwamba wananchi ambao wamekuwa kinyanyaswa na void point wamepata haki yao kisheria kikot, kwa sababu lazima tutumie koti yetu kwa sababu koti yetu ndio huwa iko na kitu ambaye inaitwa justice na sisi tunakuja tena tukimpa warning void point kunyanyasa wananchi wa void uache sasa hizi kuna court order Tunapata malalamisho ofisini kwetu kila siku kwamba unaenda na mapolisi unapiga watu kila usiku unapiga wananchi kwa nini na wananchi shamba ni ya mababu yao shamba ni yao lizi yako iliisha na unaenda kinyume unaenda una renew lizi kinyume na kuna conditions ambazo mliekeania ile wakati wa kitambo kwamba liz ikiisha shamba irudi kwa wananchi na saa hii sisi tunasema kama sheria na haki Human Rights Institute shamba tunaomba paka rais mpaka mahakama kwa sababu sisi tunatetea haki za kibinadamu tukisikia mtu amenyanyaswa mahali tunaingilia tunaomba wananchi waweze kupewa haki yao
Kulingana 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 na viongozi wetu aswa wacha tuseme Kenya kwa ujumla. Alafu turudi hapa voi sasa. Kwa sababu hao ndo wamechangia sehemu kubwa sana ya hiyo lease kwa approve fake lease ambayo ilikuwa ishakuwa expired wakati wake ulikuwa umeisha. Ambapo ni inamaanisha kwamba viongozi wetu pia wanachangia pale pakubwa kuweza kutuletea matatizo. Wanachangia pale pakubwa kuweza kuletea wananchi matatizo. Aswa wananchi wa Voi ambapo wako hapo size hapo Voi point. Kwa sababu hao wakifuatwa kidogo tu kule na mambo madogo madogo pengine anapromisiwa kitu anakubali kupitisha lease. Na natunge na, na pia zidi kuomba hao viongozi ile tabia wako naye ya ukatel waache kwa sababu hao ndio wanakuwa wakifanya wananchi wakaazi na hao locals wanapata shida wanakuwa na umaskini mwingi zaidi wanazidi kutajirisha investor hatujakata investor but tuangalie pia kiwango ya investors kwa sababu huwa viongozi wetu mara nyingi wanatuambia tuheshimu investors but investor kama amekuja na mkono ambaye si sawa amekuja kutajirika wewe fikiria mtu amechukua billions ni kama wanasaidiana nao viongozi mtu anachukua billions billions of money ha? anachukua na title ya wananchi ambaye lizi liisha sina maanisha hao viongozi pia wako pamoja nao na ye. pesa wanakula pamoja kwa hivyo tunaomba viongozi wetu waweze kurekebisha ili pia wananchi waweze kupata haki yao